Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a printable on canva.com and then we're going to be uploading to make money on design bundles. Alright, so first you got to go to canva.com, make an account, and after that you're going to go to the right top corner and you're going to press create a design. Once you press create a design, you're going to press custom size, and then right now we're going to do 8.5 by 11. Again, so it's 8.5 by 11, and I'm just going to write that in. And you can already see in the recents, you can see 8.5 by 11, but if you don't have it, you can just type it in as well. Uh, make sure too that you're going to put in inches, and then you're going to write in 8.5 by 11. You're going to press create new design. Now that you got a blank paper right here, we're going to try to get the outline going. So for this example, we're going to make a vacation rental uh, printable. So what we're going to do is actually make a background header. So what I'm going to do is going to go to elements on the left and I'm going to grab this square right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag it to the top and I want it in a rectangular shape. And I see this guideline right here. I'm going to go a little bit over it and then I'm going to drag it and I'm going to make this a different color, probably just do a dark blue. And so I'm going to grab this plus right here, make it a little bit darker and probably just leave it right there. That looks good to me. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to text. I'm going to click on heading and I'm going to press and I'm going to press on this and I'm going to do reserve date. I'm going to drag this to the top. Obviously I can't see it. So I'm going to do a different color and I'm going to go with white first. That looks good. But let's see if I can do something else. I'm going to do maybe a green blue color. So let's see if I can do that. See if it could show up nicely. Okay. I think that looks good. And I'm going to click on this now and I'm going to do a different font and let's see what I'm going to use for this demonstration. I'm going to use slopes and I'm going to leave that. I think that looks pretty good. What I want to do on the bottom of this, it says reserve dates. I want to put another text underneath it, put reserve dates for our vacation rental. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab another heading and I'm going to put for our vacation rental. Obviously, I'm going to adjust the font size. So I'm going to grab it, make it smaller. And for this one, I'm going to do white. I'm going to drag it to the top, make it a little bit smaller. I think that looks good. Now I feel like the background should be a little bit bigger to accommodate the font size here. I'm going to make this a little bit larger. I'm going to drag this to the bottom. I'm going to drag it to the bottom a little bit more and make maybe make the background just a little bit more just to center this. All right, so I think that looks good. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to put an address right here. So I'm going to get another element right here, get a square box. And I want to copy this color. So I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to make sure this is the right color. So click on the plus. I'm going to copy and paste this color code. So I'm going to do command C on my Mac, grab this, go to the square, command V. That's the exact color. I'm going to go to the top I'm going to drag this. And then I think that looks pretty good. Go a little bit over to the guidelines. I'm going to zoom in, make this centered. I think that looks great. And now what I'm going to do is grab this font right here and just copy and paste it, put it over here and put address. All right, that looks good to me here. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to zoom out. And now what I'm going to do is just play with this font right here. I'm going to do a different font and I'll probably do this one later or Lado. I think that looks a lot better. Make sure it's all evened out. Same thing. That looks good. Possibly make it bold. I think that will look a lot better. And yeah, I think that does. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. So probably 24. Zoom in. Command plus on my Mac. Go a little bit out. And I think that looks good. All right. So now that I got that finished, I got this layout. All I got to do is put three columns. I'm going to put date, name, and notes. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste this. So command C, command V. I'm going to change this to black. So I'm going to change the color up here. Actually, I'm going to do blue just to help the coloring is out, just to match the colors. And I'm going to type in date. I'm going to do command C, command V. I'm going to center this one. I'm going to do name. I'm going to do command C, command V, and then I'm going to do notes. All right, I think that looks good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some lines right here. So what I have to do now is make sure I have the correct alignment, center all this and get some lines. So obviously there's a line right here, but what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to actually just grab the text. It doesn't matter what it is, just hit the heading and I'm going to actually do underscore. So I'm going to do shift and underscore. And I feel like this one just helps me out a little bit more because of the alignment of the spacings of the of the lines. Because if I grab the line element, uh, what's going to happen? I have to adjust it, the spacings manually. So I think that looks good. I'm going to drag it. I'm going to shrink it down and I think that looks great and maybe center this. 
And this is going to be the hardest part. We have to just center everything. We go to the top. Date is good right here. And I'm just going to make more underscores. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make the lines a little bit longer. So I'm going to just stretch it out a little bit. Make sure everything's good. I'm going to delete some lines. I'm going to copy and paste this row. Command C, Command V. Go to the next one. Command C, Command V. Go to the next one. And I think that looks pretty good. And I'm just going to make sure to center the titles here or these sections. I'm going to zoom out, check it out, see everything's good. I think everything looks pretty good to go. I'm going to just adjust everything a little bit. I'm going to zoom in. The last thing I want to do is actually just make these a little bit more transparent. So I'm just going to highlight over them and I'm going to go to this transparency right here, this three dots, and I'm going to click on transparency and just make sure to get the correct transparency. I'm going to go to 50. I think that looks a little bit better. Um, I'm going to also change the colors a little bit, maybe gray. All right, and I think this looks pretty good to go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna download it, go to the right top corner. I'm gonna do PDF print, click download, and just save it somewhere on my computer. So the next step that we're going to do right now is actually make the thumbnail for the design we just made. So what we got to do right now is actually get the correct size. So since we're uploading to design bundles, it's going to be 750 by 500. So I'm going to do the, I'm going to go to create a design and I'm going to make sure it's in pixels and I'm going to write in 750 by 500 and press create new design. So once I'm here, this is the template and it should be kind of like a rectangle shape. And so what I'm going to do is get some background. You can find stuff easily on Canva, but also what you can do is actually go to another website. So I'm at creativefabrica.com. This is the best place to get your fonts and graphics and crafts. And so I'm trying to find a background graphic for my thumbnail. So I'm just going to type in wooden graphic. Okay. So probably just wood and then background. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to look around to see which one is the best. So I found this wood background right here. So I found old wood background mock-up. So let's look at it. You can see the thumbnails here. And I think that's fine with me. I'm going to click on download. I'm back at the canva.com and I'm just going to drag in my file. So I'm going to just drag it in. This is the wood background. I'm not a big fan of these flowers right here. I just wanted the wood. I thought that was just for decoration purposes on the thumbnail, but I guess not. And so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try to block that out with some kind of like a accent color. So I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to go to the square. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to block it out with some kind of like triangle shape. So I'm just going to turn this like this and then just make it a little bit bigger like that. It doesn't need to, need to be too big. I think that looks pretty good. I want to make it gray. All right, so this is what I did. I just put this little triangle right here just to block that flower. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my printable and then I'm just going to put it on here. Now to actually put in the principle right here, you want to go back to your design and download and then click on JPEG or PNG. I did JPEG for this example and so you just want to click it and then download it. Once you have your JPEG file, you want to drag it into your Canva and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click on it and now as you can see, you can see the picture of it. And so what I'm going to do now is just make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to turn it and I think that looks pretty good. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a little bit of drop shadow on it. I'm going to go to effects right here and I see add a shadow around your image. I'm going to click on that and there's a shadow right here. I'm going to click on drop and I think that looks a lot better. So I'm going to click out. It looks like it's popping out just a little bit more. I think that's a drop shadow right there if you can see it a little bit. So after you get your drop shadow in there, you're going to click on download. You're going to click on PNG and you're going to download it. So now we're at designbundles.net. This is the website that you're going to upload to. So you first, you do have to make a seller's account. You got to apply for it, I believe. 
Once you sign up, we're gonna go to the dashboard. So we're at the dashboard right now. This is what it looks like to be on the back end when you upload your design. So you have your thumbnail, you have your product. And how I got here is I'm gonna go to products and I clicked on my products. And so how I got here was I went to products and then I went to create product. So first you got your thumbnail, you're gonna go to go to image manager and you're gonna drag in the file that you just made for your mockup. So I'm gonna drag it in. And there you go, there is the mock-up right there. So I'm gonna scroll back up, and as you can see, it just showed up right here, and I'm gonna go to product name, and I'm just gonna type in the title right here, reserve date. For categories, you wanna go to crafters, so you're gonna go to crafters right here, and you wanna click on the correct one. And I believe there's a printable section right here, printables, and you just wanna click on the right one. For this one, it looks like I'm gonna do other. For the price, I'm going to do four because that's the minimum. And there's a corporate license price. And as you can see, it says recommend to set at eight times the product price. So I'm just going to leave that. After that, you're going to go to product type. This is a single product, so I'm going to select that. And now I'm just going to put in the description. It could just be something light and you can go up to 10,000 words right here. For this section, you want to put in the tags. You can use something that is common sense. You can use a keyword research tool such as keywords everywhere or keyword surfer. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to input the tags. For the next part, it says file includes we're going to go to pdf as our selection if you have multiple file types you can do jpeg and png as well as well as any other file types included so for this one i'm just going to do pdf for add-ons i'm just going to skip this section i'm just going to leave it blank for product groups i'm just going to skip this because this is optional and for the product discount i'm going to do no discount for this one product themes it's optional as well i'm not going to do anything for this one for projects is optional i'm going to leave that blank youtube video i do not have a youtube video so i'm going to leave that blank as well and and Pinterest image, it's optional. I'm not gonna do this as well. But I will say, even though I just skip all of these things with the optional sections, I think it is a good idea to fill them out. But just for this demonstration, I'm not gonna fill them out. And then after that, there's publish date. I'm just gonna leave this blank as well. Make sure that you have the JPEG for the thumbnail, which I already did before. So just make sure that is correct. After that, I'm gonna go to the bottom, which is the file. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag and drop it in here. So I wanna make it into a zip file when I drop it in. And it says this, uploading links to Dropbox downloads or other URLs are not allowed. Please upload your files to our service. You can upload to four gigabytes in a single zip. If your product is large, then please split the zips into four gigabyte zips, a maximum of 30 can be uploaded. So just make sure that when you do this and when you upload it, just make it into a zip file. And that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna drag it in and that looks good. And as you can see, the file has been uploaded. After that, I'm gonna press save product. 